You are a function of this total galaxy. The real deep down you is the whole universe. And it's doing your living organism and all its behavior. It's expressing it as a singer sings a song. Welcome back to another episode of The Throws Definitive. I'm Simply Mike, and today we're going to be discussing the newest addition from Two Sick Yo Yo's, the Empire Song. Nice classic metal hybrid. And spoiler alert, I do like this yo yo. But not for what's obvious. We'll discuss. We're going to do this in categories, starting with the throw itself. So recently there's been a run on of plastic and metal hybrid yo-yos and the impulse song is definitely worthy of your consideration. Check the stats. What we have here is an organic shaped yo-yo with metal rings for performance, which drives spin a little harder than the pawn, the predecessor. But you don't have to worry, those rings are definitely flush with the body. The rings translate into a more powerful throw and smoother play, and a little bit more stability. However, the yo-yo has the soul of a different one. And we'll do that in the comparisons. So let's start with the obvious. You can't discuss the Empire song without bringing up the pawn. They have almost the exact same dimensions, characteristic, and feel. The Empire song being just a bit more powerful, but both of them feel almost exactly alike in the hand. And as far as these stats are concerned, <laughs> it's marginal. The biggest difference is the cup. The pawn has a thick walled cup, whereas the Empire song has a thinner cup which makes it much easier to do finger spins. Next up we have the Iceberg, which dropped very close to the Impulse Song. The stats tell a story very similar to each other, but the Iceberg and the Impulse Song play way differently from each other, and I like to compare it to a high-performance sports car versus a high-performance sedan both of which are Premier. And speaking of Premier, $60 for a plastic yo-yo represents some serious funds. And it's up to you whether or not you're gonna find value, enough value to justify a purchase. In this category, we have the Cabal, the Gamma Crash, the aforementioned Iceberg, and our Empire Song all of which are excellent yo-yos, but $60 is a little prohibitive for some. I wouldn't recommend this to the casual player or a parent who's trying to get something for their children. This is a serious yo-yo for somebody that's going to take yo-yoing a little bit more seriously than average. If you are such a person, then the Empire Song is definitely worthy of your consideration. A bit more chill, a bit more relaxed, the Empire Song is just as worthy as the Iceberg. Whereas one is more of an EDC or everyday carry, the Iceberg is that beast made for competition and grinding it out on a trek ladder. Well, what a journey. I really enjoyed doing these series of fantastic plastics. And this is going to be the final one. I've really come to appreciate what these plastic yo-yos do for me as a player. You've got variety all over the place. Alrighty kids, that's it for me. I certainly thank all the newcomers new subscribers for joining the conversation click like and subscribe if you haven't already done so so you can get in on some of this action and remember the old adage still holds true 
I'm not cool because I yo-yo. But I do yo-yo because it's cool. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll check you out in the next one. Peace.